Good morning, students. Welcome to Sheba Online Class. Today we are going to see the geography second lesson. The lesson name is landforms. So in this lesson we are going to study about the various types of landforms. Before that we see the introduction. In introduction, in earlier class we have learnt the surface of the earth is not even everywhere. We have mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. Actually, in your sixth standard, you studied about the mountains, plateaus, and plains. The earth is not a even. That is different. We have a mountains, plateau, so that the earth is different. And these land forms are two process. Land forms are two process. One is endogenetic, and the next one is exogenic. Actually, in endogenic, it is the internal process. What are the process happen inside the earth is called as a endogenic. Genetic and the water, the process movement outside the earth is called as a outside the earth's uh, surface that is called as an exogenetic process. So, the gradation is the process of leveling highlands, erosions, and lowlands depo uh, deposition. Actually, the gra uh, gradation gradation means the erosion and deposition. Erosion means like this manarital uh, that is the uh, erosion and the deposition means a straying something is the other that is the deposition and next uh, we are going to see the landforms what is landforms the landscape is being continuously worn away by two processes weathering and erosion so weathering we have a two continuously in the two process in landscape we have two process what does that means weathering and erosion in the first weathering is a breaking and falling a path into a small pieces of rocks actually the uh, small pieces of rocks are on the broker that is we are saying that is a, a weathering and the erosion is taken away of landscape by water wind ice and sea waves in this lesson we are going to study about only about the landform so we have two types what is that weathering and the next is the erosion so weathering means other and the path falling down a small small uh, small pieces of parts on the Villaradu, other way break agarudu and the erosion is the taken away of landscape actually and the taken away and the uh, water, wind, lies, edadu one on the, the place learn the move agi po edadu that is the erosion so uh, next to topic is the river in the river is mostly originated actually before going to the river I will uh, see this river landforms as a First is a river source, waterfalls from the river. We have this a river source, waterfalls, tributary, oxbow lake, meander, flood plain and the delta. From the river we got everything. So in the river learn the namaka elame idalam the next stages of the river. So I will show you one video and one picture about the river landforms. Okay, students, see this picture. So here see this the river source is there first inner king river source is there so from the river source the river mostly originated in mountain and hills actually rivers originated from the mountain or hills the place origin of river is known as the source this place the river source origin of source the inner solro river source solro and also the place where it joins in the ocean or sea is called as a river mouth actually here look at this this is the river mouth the place where Joining river when the join agrado ocean or sea leo join agrado river mouth the running water erodes the landscape which creates the V-shaped valley falling of river water vertically in river bed is called as a water fall actually see this here the waterfalls is there so the waterfalls river learn the and the waterfalls keel of the para falling down and the river bed uh, is called as a waterfalls other than waterfalls or wrong we know that kutral and waterfalls namak teri only yeah that is that waterfalls when the other man area falls are here yeah uh, or example ko anakal soli irka when the flowing water decreases the river was spreads and many tribute Actually, the water falls under the river source. The water falls under the and the flowing when the decrease ajna, the river source will uh, spread the water. Pakatalana spread the that makes uh, another tributary. See this here the tributaries. So tributaries it will make the tributaries and the river was turns forming large bits is called as a meanders. Look at this. This and that uh, either kala or a round curve shape layer clear that is the meander because the river flow river flow adhigama arkrapa that will form a meanders and also the large bits are cuts 
were from rivers and forms a lake due to the high flow of water. In the meander, water flow adhigama arkrapa and the meander enagudu kattagi or tani lake a form agudu that is called as a oxbow lake. Here see this is the oxbow lake. And next river overflow may give a deposit of fine soil and other materials are called sediments. This leads to form the fertile flood plain. Actually look at this the flood plain irka. So uh, uh, and the soil soils and the water learn over soils deposits agi other than in the flood plane on the create panada collection of sediments are called delta so here delta is there so the collection of sediments the sediments along collect agi irkar the we are saying that is the delta so deltas are excellent productive land and cover uh, example cover delta actually the delta places very productive land for agriculture we are using this uh, uh, productive land so for example here the Kaveri Delta I am saying. Okay students, so you understand about this river landforms. River landforms la na river source pato. From the river source we are getting a waterfalls and from waterfalls we got a tributaries. Nariya tributaries are and also Oxbow Lake and the meander and the flood plain and our last one is a delta so after this topic we are having a glacier what is glacial actually uh, in glacier we have a uh, two types of glaciers also so here the large body of ice moving slowly down and slope is called as a glacier actually large body of ice moving ice when the slow one the muagi varad and the other place learn the taniya separate the muagi varad we are saying that is a glacier and we have a two Two types of glaciers here the first one is a continental and the second one is a mountain glacier so two types of glaciers is there so and uh, in this two types of glaciers are the continental glacier covering vast area of a continent and thick ice sheets actually the continental glacier and rather it covers a large area of continent or continent cover fully covered with ice it is called as a continental glacier for example antarctica antarctica is a continental glacier and the mountain glacier ice flowing along the valley actually the ice flowing along the valleys in the mountain for example himalayas and Alps mountain that is called as a mountain glacier so we have many types of glaciers in this topic so I will show you one video about this glaciers so see this video and first one is a glacier in the glacier the body of ice moving slowly that is called as a glacier we have two types of glacier continental glacier and the mountain in the continental and then a mountain next one is a circuit actually circuit glacier and the next one is the arch and next one is moraine moraine also this is a this is also one of a glacier and next is a this is wind glacier that is a mushroom rock this is mushroom rock and next one is this inselberg and next lois and barchens and this is a coastal area glaciers a sea cliff this is sea cliff and sea cave and sea arch and sea stack beach and sandbar and this is last one lagoon and the next we are going to see the circuit so in the circuit it is a arm uh, chair shaped depression due to the erosion the circuit place was very low actually the circuit under the it is made uh, in between the mountains uh, the between two mountains uh, and the mountains center uh, that uh, shape on the circuit shape on the very low the shape is so the ice ice mountain like uh, ice is melts and deposit of water in that uh, on the curves uh, on the curves on uh, the circuit uh, water deposit of the beautiful lakes and mountains is called a tarn lake so that waters are look like a lakes lakes marirka that lakes is called as a turn lakes na solranga in mountain the uh, water is look like a lakes that lakes is turn lakes so two circuit erodes towards actually arch 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 means two circuits erodes each other and that makes a arch actually the two circuits varum rendu oru curve illama two curves a vande joint agi varum that is called as a arch and the, i showed you the pictures also in your book also you have that pictures if you want to see that picture means just see in your book 
and this uh, next one is a unshaped u shaped valley and the moraine the material carried by the glaciers such as rocks big and small sand deposit is called as a moraines actually the big big rocks uh, like this big rocks and small rocks uh, and the sands everything is deposited in the mountains is called as a moraines and next is a wind in the wind also we have some types uh, is there mushroom rock like this in desert erosion and deposition in the deserts is due to the wind actually erosion means what i told the sand erosion man arikiradun sonno so that erosion is will happen in the desert sites in deserts you can see see the mushroom rocks actually in deserts only we can see the mushroom rocks the mushroom rock is the lower part of the rock is eroded due to wind is called as mushroom rock actually the our uh, rock uh, one such a big rock in that rock the down parts were fully eroded with the wind wind nal kaathu nal enna agudhu down parts fully eroded so that vero upper part matter irukku that is look like a mushroom rocks and the insert berg when wind blows the sand deposited in down and that makes sand dunes the crescent shaped sand dunes are called barchans actually in in insert bergs insert bergs la in mushroom rocks that erodes the down parts but in insert berg that erodes the upper parts and that sands alla enna agudhu vera edathula poi deposit agudhu and also the deposition is called as a sand dunes and the crescent shaped sand dunes are called barchans uh, in barchans actually the crescent shape la in the sand dunes ellame form agudhu that is called as a barchans that barchan sand deposited in large area this is called as a loess actually the barchan sands are deposited in large area that is called as a loess and next one is a coast a part of the land adjoining the sea or near sea is called as a sea coast we know that sea coast means kadarkarai solrom laya that is the coastal places so the part of land adjoining the sea or near the sea places is called as a sea coast the coast line is where land meets water is called as a sea cliff sea cave sea arch and sea stack beach and sandbar and lagoon next we are going to see this topics only sea cliff first we are going to see the sea cliff is erosion and deposition of the sea waves rise the coastal landforms actually the sea cliff is erosion and deposition of sea waves or a big rock or a big mountain mari irukum on that place the sea sea waters irukla that erodes that mountain or the erodes that rocks and that forms a sea cliffs and next we have a sea caves sea waves continuously strike at the rocks and develop cracks and makes caves actually the mountain places or some other big rocks like this so in the coastal area la irundha and the waters enna pannudhu அது ஸ்ட்ரைக் ஆகி அந்த ராக்ஸ் மேலே ஸ்ட்ரைக் ஆகி த டெவலப்ஸ் அ கிராக்ஸ் அண்ட் மேக்ஸ் அ கேவ்ஸ் அது ஸ்ட்ரைக் ஆக ஆக என்ன ஆகும் த ராக்ஸ் வில் ப்ரோக்கன் அண்ட் தட் வில் மேக்ஸ் அ கேவ் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் அ சி ஆர்ச் அண்ட் சி ஸ்ட்ராக் ஆக்சுவலி அந்த கேவ்ஸ் ஆக வருது இல்லையா அந்த கேவ்ஸில் இருந்து என்ன ஆகுது இன்னும் எரோட் ஆக ஆக அந்த வாட்டர் ஸ்ட்ரைக் ஆக ஆக உள்ள வந்து எரோஷன் வந்து இருந்துட்டே இருக்கு தட் ராக்ஸ் வில் ஃபுல்லி ப்ரோக்கன் அண்ட் தட் வில் மேக்ஸ் தட் சி ஆர்ச் ஒரு ஆர்ச் ஷேப்பில் அது மேட் ஆகுது அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த சம் டைம்ஸ் த ஆர்ச் வில் ப்ரோக்கன் த அப் சைட் வந்து என்ன ஆகுது தட் ஆர்ச் வில் ப்ரோக்கன் தட் இஸ் கால் இஸ் அ சி ஸ்டாக் அந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் அந்த சி வேவ்ஸ் டெபாசிட் செடிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாண்ட் அண்ட் இட் மேக்ஸ் த பீச்சஸ் ஆக்சுவலி த சி வேவ்ஸ் த சி வேவ்ஸ் பிரிங் மெனி டெபாசிட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த சாண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தட் மேக்ஸ் த பீச்சஸ் அதுதான் என்ன ஆகுது பீச்சஸ் ஃபார்ம் ஆகுது பீச் வி நோ தட் பீச்சில் அண்ட் பீச் அண்ட் டெபாசிஷன் ஆஃப் மட் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் சி இஸ் சாண்ட் பார் இன் த சாண்ட் டெபாசிஷன் ஆஃப் மட் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் சி சீல இருக்கிற சீல இருக்கிற அந்த டெபாசிஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் வி ஆர் சேயிங் தட் இஸ் த சாண்ட் பார் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் அ லகுன் த லகுன் இஸ் த ஷாலோ ஸ்ட்ரெச் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் கம்ப்ளீட்லி செப்பரேட்டட் ஃப்ரம் த சி ஸோ சி தனியாக இருக்கும் தட் லகுன்றது த வாட்டர் இஸ் லைக் அ லேக் லேக் மாதிரி வாட்டர் வந்து செப்பரேட் ஆகி தட் சேம் பிளேஸ் பட் த வாட்டர் என்ன இருக்கும் சம் பிளேஸஸில் சாண்ட் இருக்கும் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் டு தட் பிளேஸ் தட் வில் ஹவ் ஒன் ஸ்மால் லேக் இருக்கும் தட் இஸ் த லகுன்னு சொல்கிறோம் ஸோ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன் அவர் தமிழ்நாடு வி ஹாவ் அ புலிகாட் லேக் தட் புலிகாட் லேக் இஸ் அ லகுன் ஓகே ஆர் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் லெசன் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் அ வாட் வி சா இன் திஸ் லெசன் 
so first in introduction path on next river landforms in river landforms we see this topics and also i showed you one picture and next we saw that uh, uh, glaciers we have two types of glaciers continental and the mountain glacier and next uh, we saw the wind wind mushroom rocks uh, and like this insel bugs like this and also the coastal region glaciers uh, and we finished with lagoons uh, I, i hope you all are understand this lesson students okay i will see you in the next class thank you